Hello, I'm back with a new question, and this question comes from a young coach, which I think is really important. The more questions I get, especially from young coaches, the more I'm going to try and answer them. So this is the question. I'm a young coach, and I've just started coaching. What's the best way to keep players focused? Well, apart from the, the little obvious moments of making sure everyone has a ball, making sure players are not standing still all the time and making sure there's some type of movement in your exercise, this is what I'm going to recommend. I recommend that you gamify, use gamification into your training sessions. And what that does is by adding points, by adding time restrictions, by adding space, it makes it super exciting for children. So they've got something they're constantly doing. They're moving, they're making decisions, and they're always engaged in their game. So there's very little room for them to switch off, lose focus, and start messing around. Gamification keeps players completely engaged in your sessions. So here's session number one. And we're going to use running with the ball as an example for you. So running with the ball, changing direction. There's, three, there's two groups of three players here. You could have two fields. You could have one field going on here, one field going on here. One group gets 30 seconds to dribble into four different stations on the corner of the field. And the other field, which is the, the other team, sorry, which is the black team, they're trying to prevent those players from getting into those bases. So as you can see, there's four bases, three defenders, so there's always going to be an opportunity for a red player to dribble in. They get 30 seconds to dribble in as many times as they can, and then you switch and the black team gets a, a turn. And they're constantly changing direction. As you can see here with players, constantly changing direction. Once a black player arrives at a grid, that closes that grid, so they've got to change and go to a different base, right? So this is a fantastic game to add points. How many times can you dribble into that base, switch, and then they're playing against each other, trying to beat each other's points, working incredibly hard, and using the point system as the gamifying aspect of it. And then you could switch the teams. This team, the black team here, plays the red team on the opposite field, so it's a great way of gamifying your game and not just having players standing still and dribbling from cone to cone or in and out of cones. Game number two. This is perhaps for an individual game where everybody has a ball and they're dribbling through different stations. It might be a turn when they get to the station or when you get to a hoop, you've got to do a juggle or two juggles or three toe tap taps on the ball. And what we're doing here is we're teaching them to travel with their head up. And this becomes like an individual score. So you've got 20 seconds to go for as many gates as you can. Then you change it and say, you've got 20 seconds to go for as many gates as you can. And each gate you go through has to be a different color. So all of a sudden you're teaching them to travel with their head up, but you're trying to teach them to go as quick as they can because they get points for scoring within the 20 second time slot. And you can always change this and say, when you dribble, you're only allowed to use the bottom of your foot. When you dribble, you're only allowed to use your non-preferred foot. So there's loads of ways you can add coaching and teaching into it on how to run with a ball. But they're all have a ball, they're all engaged, and there's that gamification aspect to it where they're keeping points on how many gates they've gone through. Game number three, this, I like this game. This is running with a ball again, changing speed. And as you can see here, we've got some of the fastest players in the world on this game. But the idea of the game is players start on the edge of the circle and they try and dribble through the mini circle. Every time they dribble through the mini circle, they get a point. It may be if they dribble through the circle one side and out the other side, using their non-preferred foot, you give them another point, you give them two points. So again, you're using the gamification aspect to motivate the players. Then that team would come out, go to the outside, and another three players would go in the middle and defend that middle zone. In, in this game, you can always change it and say one of the players are allowed to come out and defend the players on the outside, 
which makes it a little bit more difficult. But at the same time, it also makes it easier to run because there's a little bit more space defending that middle zone. So three fun, simple games to set up. All of them involve giving points to gamify and motivate your players in the session. All of them involve players having the ball and running with the ball, making decisions, moving, and having to use perhaps different parts of the foot. And all of them are, are touching on the coaching points that we want to touch on when we're working with players and coaching them with running with a ball. Can you change direction? Can you travel with your head up? Can you change speed when you run with a ball? And gamification is motivating them to, com to perform at a high level or compete with their teammates. As always, if you have any questions, please drop me a question below and I'll try and create a video that um, helps you in some way. Remember, like and subscribe to the channel if you see um, you're, you're getting something from these videos. And thanks for watching.